Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against Fabulous Mega, are known as Pow, and he's the um, Water Gym leader of this Litio uh, Season 6. And um, yeah, this was actually a double battle. I was not prepared for that whatsoever. And uh, even when you know when I choose a Pokemon, I did not even consider the thoughts for a second. Um, Though it turned out to be quite a fun battle, you know, no matter what. And um, that is what's most important, of course. And uh, looking to his team here, he got Crawdont, Tentacruel, Wishcat, Sharpedo, Jarados, and Diluticolo. So, not a whole lot of Pokemon that can actually utilize the rain, but the stab is always, always tough to deal with. I myself is using pretty much the same team I had previously, and um, yeah. It will actually prove to be quite useful anyway, because Rotom is helping. It's helping quite a lot, and the biggest threat on his team is definitely Sharpedo and Yardo, so I don't really want to use my Ditto um, in case they set up. I want to switch them in if they set up, because then I can kind of, you know, banking on that boost to kind of come through. Or at least that is what I'm hoping for. Also, Crawdon, Adaptability Curl is so terrifying. So, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm going to have this battle sped up, because double battles tend to be slow. Uh, they're fast-paced, but slow to re-record. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, yeah, like I said from the get-go, I did not consider this was a weather team, or rather, a double battle. So, he's gonna start with Jaros and Lodicolo, and of course, that is very, very ter terrifying. He gets the Intimidate off, and uh, basically here, I decided that, right, Set up sand, set up sand, that's that's the only thing that's gonna matter this time. Uh, he's going for fake out and um, shutting down the Sigalith, you know, that's fine. As he goes for the waterfall on the bricks, which actually would take this fairly well. Uh, good thing he didn't go for a rain dance there and then. So I basically, since the situation is as it stands, I thought, you know what, let's set up cosmic power. I can do this, I don't have to worry about anything besides taunt. Yeah, he has taunt on the Jarados. And that is terrifying, so what I actually decided to do here was to go for Stone Edge, doing some damage, and um, hope that I could kind of stall this out. It's not really stalling though, it's more in a situation where I still got one boost up, and it doesn't have a lot of power on his team, so if I use Rotom, I can kind of try to uh, shut down his team with that. Though I did not have the Thunder Wave on this, so I had no way of uh, paralyzing any foe here. So, um, what I was doing here is basically fret whatever is inside here to, you know, stall things out and, you know, force him to maybe not go for the Surf over and over. So I just go for Stall Power and Tentacruel doing damage really. And um, he's gonna go for Giga Drain on the Rotom, which was completely fine since Rotom actually, it can take the kind of damage. And I missed my Will O Wisp here. Which honestly is fine, and he's gonna go for Ice Beam, activating my weakness policy, which will set off the stalled power in motion. And uh, I'm still like in no range where I could say that I could be taken out, and uh, I could probably still take an Ice Beam worst case scenario. Uh, my opponent is gonna go Protect instead of attacking, as I decide to go for stalled power on the Ludicolo, which I failed to take out, but I'll do the Thunderbolt on the Ludicolo, and I get that paralyzation. And it's fully paralyzed. It might be that I won't survive another Ice Beam from that one. But being that it was fully paralyzed, I got the momentum needed because now the, one of the most important part is I am no longer taunted. So I can roost up and my opponent saw this and basically now he's gonna stress play a bit. And you know, I get that because he needs to bring the Jaros back in to taunt me. If he can't do that, then he just can't set up. And uh, yeah, my opponent is struggling badly now and uh, I did not expect the wish cast to be, um, um, what do you call it, a special set. So I went for a will o wisp on it, hoping that it was going to set up Dragon Dance and trying to match my strength. But nope, that was not what's come to fruition. And um, of course, even though I do survive the Giga Rain, the sand, which I set up, is going to kill me sadly. And uh, yeah, that's terrible. That is terrible. But the Ice Beam is not doing a whole lot, and I can deal with that rather properly, to be honest. And my healers is gonna fall here, and that's okay. He did major work just being a wall, really, against these two. 
and uh, the previous team. And um, Wolf is gonna come in. I basically just gonna take out stuff. Uh, so um, the return almost takes out the wish cast, which is incredible. But in contrast with, of course, the move that is um, burn is gonna take out. But my opponent just went on at it and went for a surf anyway, taking out that um, <laughs> wish cast. And of course, Sigalith is now in a good range. Jaro is gonna come in and. Um, I was pretty sure I could outspeed it, uh, but he's gonna go for protect, and basically I think he was going to see if I kept going for attacking moves or not. But I'll just keep setting up with the Sigalith, I have no way of not, like, I have to do that, that's like the only way for me of winning. Uh, I know it's a faulty strategy, but it's the only one I got at this point, because like I said, his team is actually quite powerful and generally scary. and. Um, Luckily for me here, I do outspeed the Gyarados, which is super important because that means no intimidation on the Sigalith, which means I can, you know, roost up, you know, come back. And I know I still got a Sharpedo and the Crawdont, both of them being generally scary. Uh, I was really hoping we may have all the on at it and uh, go for um, go go for the Crunch, but he's gonna go for one <laughs> one Protect to get the speed boost up before he may evolve, and you know that's fine, that's fine. I was pretty sure I could take a crunch. I was a bit unsure whether or not Fault could kill the Sharpedo though without uh, or after intimidation. And it's gonna go for the crunch, and sadly it does a bit too much. And I decided to go for a stool power instead of a roost, which I probably should have done. And um, the return here will come against the Sharpedo, and it is not enough. It is close, but it's not enough. But I did realize one thing here, and that is, of course, I survived the. The crun or the um, ooh, what do you call it? I survived the fake out, and uh, I was basically hoping I could go for a turn to Sharpedo afterwards, but he did not want to have it that way, and you know that's fine. So I decided to instead set up the sand and switch out my Stoutland, um, because no, actually I stayed one more turn. All right, I actually did that. <laughs> oh yeah, I was so sure I was gonna outspeed um, the Sharpedo, oh, and the sand I think is close enough to take it out, but he's gonna switch in the Crawdon now. So now I know I have to switch out because he's gonna go for Aqua Jet. Switching in Ditto because I have the well the superior matchup here. I can steal whatever I want and it will work. And I'm gonna steal his Sharpedo, which of course has one speed boost behind it. Aqua Jet will not do a whole lot, even with a crit. And he's going for waterfall on Rex, you know, that's fine. That means that Rex is down. And um, we can do this, we can do this. So what I wanted to do now is to force him to you know keep going for Aqua Jet. I was a bit unsure whether or not it was bad or not, and uh, due to that, I decided that it might be better if I go full, just to force him, like I said, to go for an awkward jet. But I think he's banded. Uh, but I was I was debating whether or not his expert belt or anything like that. And a waterfall will do one third basically. I should probably go for crunch, consider my ability, but I did not think about it this time. I was too excited. So the last matchup is Kasher against this Crawdon, and awkward jet is not enough. And of course the Sharpedo will speed because of speed boost, and I will finish this game with an EQ, and that is GG. Um, Pow or Fabulous Mega, this was a very, very fun battle. A bit unfair, you know, the paralyzation there was generally very, very tough to deal with, and I get that, but it was funny. I, I like this battle a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this, you know, this kind of fast upload. I wanted to do an upload, but at the same time, I'm short for time, and a double battle is always... I'm not gonna call him Stolly, but more, there's a lot of things happening every turn, so it's better to speed it up because it will be a lot of repetition with protects and stuff like that. So I decided that if I speed this up, I can probably talk a bit more what's going on, you know, my thought process. And um, I basically won this battle because I won the weather war, and uh, it was because this never came up and it rained weather. Weather was the only thing that was really stopping me, and uh, his Ludicolo being fully paralyzed against my Sigalith was really bad, you know, I'm not gonna lie, that play, or rather that unfortunate mage that Sigliff survive, and uh, yeah, that was the last turn before the taunt wear off. Uh, I might pull this off anyway, but uh, that definitely helped, like, quite a lot. Um, my Excadrill had Rock Slide, I was being forced to go for that if uh, my Sigliff went out, but as it stood, you know, I, I dealt with it, it was incredibly funny, and uh, it was also also very fun to use video like that. Uh, so fellas mega, genie man, and for everybody else, remember, sky's limit. I'll see you next time. Bye.